All right, let's look at uh, chapter 12, which deals with chromosomes and inheritance. And we're going to start off looking at the sex chromosomes. And we're going to look at uh, sex determination. So if we go to the next page here, so with organisms that have sex chromosomes, as I mentioned in the last chapter, not everyone does, uh, not all animals do, uh, but those that do have uh, sex chromosomes, we have a heterogametic sex, which is what we see here. And a heterogametic sex is a sex with two different sex chromosomes. So in mammals, this is males. Uh, and then uh, in birds, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, that is the females. And they're on what we call the ZW system. So next is the homogametic sex. And this is a sex with uh, two of the same sex chromosomes. And that's what we see uh, in mammals uh, that are the females. So that you have two X chromosomes. Uh, males, once again, an X and a Y chromosome. All right. So uh, with birds, uh, the males are the homogametic sex. They're uh, what we call ZZ. So when it comes to sex determination for uh, animals that have sex chromosomes, well, it's the heterogametic sex that determines the sex of the offspring. All right. Because the heterogametic sex can give off one chromosome or the other. Right. And so uh, in the case of mammals, uh, if the guy gives off an X, well, you have a daughter. Uh, if he gives off the Y, you have a son. OK, uh, so the female, regardless of which of these chromosomes she gives off, it's always an X chromosome. So, you know, uh, with humans and mammals, uh, the male determines the sex of the offspring. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, with birds, uh, it is in birds, it's a, the female that determines the sex of the offspring. The male is only gonna give off a Z chromosome. So if she gives off a Z chromosome, uh, they're gonna have a male. If she gives off a W, they're gonna have a female. All right. Now, um, grasshoppers are on a, uh, a, a similar kind of situation, but with them, it's really the number of sex chromosomes that is, uh, determines the sex of the offspring. So females have two sex chromosomes, Males have one sex chromosomes. So in this case, it's still the males that determine the sex of the offspring because he's either going to give off a sex chromosome or he's not going to give off a sex chromosome. So she is always going to give off uh, an X chromosome regardless. If he gives off a sex chromosome, there will be a female. If he doesn't give off a sex chromosome, the offspring will be male. Now, some individuals, uh, some animals don't use sex chromosomes at all. Uh, so one example here is bees. In bees, it's the number of chromosomes uh, uh, sets that determine the sex of the offspring. So with bees, females are diploid and males are haploid. All right. And so what happens with bees and wasps and uh, ants, actually, is that males are produced from an unfertilized egg. And so what the male will do is a male will develop and he'll go out and he'll find a female and reproduce with the female and then he'll die. And that's pretty much all the males are used for in bee, wasp, and ant societies, all right? So the female, in this case, the queen ant or queen bee or whatever queen it is, uh, will produce uh, diploid offspring uh, and so most of the ants in um, bees and wasps that you encounter are female, like 99.999999% or whatever it is, all right? So a very small percentage are actually males. So she'll produce all these females, and then at a certain times of the year, she will produce an unfertilized uh, sperm, which will be a male that will have nothing but her genes in them, and those males will go out and find a female to reproduce with, all right? So uh, last one uh, I kind of mentioned are turtles. And turtles, uh, and also crocodiles, uh, the temperature of the incubation of the eggs determines the sex of the offspring. So that's how they do it. 